it's new content time. Have a look at this. Hey guys, have a look at this car. The McLaren, is it the 560S? 570S GT4. New car for the GT4 category, so there's three now. And it's pretty cool. Um, I, I haven't raced the GT4s in almost 12 months. I've been pretty much focusing solely on the, the skippies, as you can see, my little paint livery right there. But uh, yeah, they had the update two days ago for the new season then they had a hot fix and they slid this one in and just slid it in <laughs> i don't mind it to be honest have a look gt4 can't say no to mclaren i've got the gold um just so it's one color and we can have a look at all the lines i reckon it's pretty good It's got that. Lap for Rogers, ah, Jim. It's a practice session, mate. Let's not get all worked up. It's got that smaller McLaren feel about it. Then we get the. Uh, have a look inside. We've got the touchpad in there, but it's still got that race car feel about it. But race car feel from out of the factory feel, if you um if you know what I mean. Where it's not like they've grabbed a road car and turned it into a, a race car. This feels like yeah, look feels like we've been we're privy oh look he's looking at you kid. <laughs> Where's your helmet? You're on a racetrack. Got me Spider-Man suit. Yeah, I think the car looks really, really cool. As far as feel, though, it's a bit different. A bit different. Damage model's good. Pieces are flying off. We had... um. Yeah, the car pushed right in, scratches, there's a new smoke model with this. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So I'm going to pause it and we'll get stuck into the race, which starts in a couple of minutes. But how does the car feel? Not too bad. It feels like a GT4 car. Like uh, you get this impression, I'm in a McLaren, I'm going to go really, really fast, but it feels heavy. It feels under braked and it feels under tired. Um, there's some baseline setups. So there's four an endurance, an IMSA, and a sprint on top of the baseline. So I've gone for the sprint. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it's done. Um, but it, for me, it looks like it just adjusts the fuel. Got maximum camber. Um, ABS, traction control, sport, normal, track, which is like the little switch, 49% brake pressure bias. There's a few things you can change, not a lot, but that's that's not too bad. You don't want pages and pages of alterations. Just get into it, have a bit of fun. So this is the qualifying session. <clears throat> And one thing, the first thing I have noticed is the limiter. You can hear the do do do. It's really soft limiter. If he takes it, it's clear. Okay, Glenn, we've got two. And it doesn't to rev as on. high as I thought it would. Um, this is the base view, so the steering wheel's in the way of that red light in the middle. Which I'm, I'm sure could be adjusted. So this is a shorter version of Hockenheim. When the speed gets up there, 200k, 215, 20. But you got to brake so much earlier. 
So yes, it's got that uh, brick feeling that the BMW and the Porsche have. You wouldn't want a car to come into a category and all of a sudden it has hypercar pace, hypercar handling. Now we haven't been past this corner yet. I'm going to go a bit slower <laughs> just for comedy reasons. Yeah, yeah, we made the corner. Doesn't help that I've had a couple of races now in the Lotus 79 for week 13. But yeah, it's got that um, witchy in the rear end feeling, which is good. But it hasn't got that, what I've experienced in the Porsche, that I'm gonna kill you feeling. So these are my first laps in this car. Let me know what you think. You reckon it's a, a car you'd be interested in? I haven't even heard anything about this car. That's pretty cool. It let me um, shift down a lot earlier than what a standard, um, you know, automatic transmission would let you do, which is pretty cool. See if we can put some speed on it. Nope. Nope. Understeer. <laughs> A little bit better. Carry the speed. So yeah, thanks to everyone who watched my video yesterday in Hockenheim. Uh, we took the Lotus around here. P16, you're currently 4.1 off the leader's pace. That lap time was 134.83. Hello. Jim, calm down, buddy. I think Jim's in week 13 mode. He's like, oh, I better brush up on my skills. Last season was a shocker. Very chatty. So yeah, I'll leave a link up there about uh, the Hockenheim review. Great track. It's one that we all know from so many other games. Just cool to chuck it in the iRacing ecosystem now. car feels a lot better now that we've uh, put some heat into the tyres. And put some more caffeine into May <laughs> 31. Okay, for someone who doesn't drive this, it's not too bad. What's that, a 33-3. Uh, I'm only two seconds a lap off. That puts Not too bad. 2.6 seconds off the pace. Doesn't bother me, Jim. <laughs> it's week 13. It's not official. Where do, where do we fall in there? Look at that. If we go to... The app. Race lab. Standings. Car class on car brand. So there you go. The top four cars are McLarens. And a car that's been available for about an hour or two. Cool. So we're mid pack. Let's start the race. There's one thing about this car.
It doesn't sound very good. It sounds a bit like a, um, a tractor. <laughs> Either way, let's do this. Thanks to everyone who subscribed lately. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, click on that link below. Below, um, my focus in the normal season is the skippies. Good luck, everyone. The air temp is 19 Celsius. The track temp is 33 Celsius. My first race. Of, oops. Hockenheim. Oh, there's... Okay, no clutch. Follow car number <laughs> 9 in the right lane. As far as traction control and everything goes... I don't know. Week 13, unofficial, prepare for danger. <laughs> that limiter is very soft. So that would be my only advice so far is um, get to know the, the tone of that engine. Cause you wouldn't want to be sitting on a limiter too early, or for too long, sorry. Thanks, Knackers. <laughs> Green, let's go, let's go. All right, yeah. All right, Glenn. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Can't believe I pulled up there. Oh, I was. Hey, gonna. On your left. Hold your line. Still there. Clear to the left. I like how you can pull the gear back earlier. Pretty sure, I don't know what the Porsche has been like lately, but you couldn't do that in the beam or the Porsche should be pulling back on the, on the paddle until it changed. Gorman is now leading. Car left, clear left, clear left, left side. Still there, clear to the left, left side, clear left. Now I know they've changed the tire model in this car and they've tried to make it more user friendly. Uh, at the moment, I really like the way this car feels. 15 pace. Pace wise, you know, it's a... The car behind is pitting. It's a parody category. But um, yeah, the cars feel even. It all comes down to racecraft and yeah, that's what you want out of a category like this. Okay, Glenn, the next car is Soto. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> All right, turn in early. We'll catch these guys up here. Done it on 30.59. So 
That's really wide. And only a 1x. No slowdown. Look at that. We're up three spots. <laughs> So low revs, no power. Not like you can short shift and cheat your way through the corner. Looks like you need to be right on the power. That guy do a 31 for. So, yeah, have you guys. I got a feeling this guy is trying to take people out. <laughs> They can really cut the corners in this, which is pretty cool. P11, that lap time was 132.65. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> That's pretty cool with the uh, traction control as well. That was hard on the anchors then. Another drive. Oh. But I could actually turn it mid corner when I was locked up. Right side. Clear right. Car sounds good from the outside. Come on, Glenn. Keep pushing. We might get him back. <laughs> I'm happy right here, Jim. That's my strategy today. We'll have people in front of me rather than in the mirror because it's just a better viewing angle for the audience. Going too wide. This is not a lesson on how to drive a... Uh, GT car either. All right, clear to the right. a little bit better. You've just done a 133.11. On your left. Keep it steady. Clear left. Did you see the advantage that guy got on turn one? I wonder if you've got to slow down for it. 
Because otherwise, that's just plain old cheating, mate. Turned in early, get those tires right up there. You gotta love the revenge attack, don't you? <laughs> 3.9 high rating. Congratulations, Michael Rodriguez. That's just cheating. <laughs> the car behind's pitting now. You get an X for it, but not a slowdown. That's just cheating. I'm sure they'll fix that by the start of the season. <clears throat> okay, Glenn, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Turning earlier. Felt like we lifted off the ground then. I do like this part of the track. It seems relatively, you know, simple, but there's just tiny undulations. But you don't want them. Push, push, or we'll lose this place. P10, you've just done a 132. 1.5. 0.3, 0.4. The gap to Rodriguez ahead is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. Oh, good, buddy. I do like learning new new cars. Oh, third. That doesn't work. Pay attention to track limits, please, Glenn. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that every lap. <laughs> so, are you going to get into this or what, guys? Tempting. I like when you throw it in. You've got half a chance to catch it when it starts to flick around on you.
I like how you can overcook the car as well. Really puts it in its place as a GT4 car as opposed to a GT3 or a GTE car that it's not as refined as one of those cars. GT4 car is supposed to be a car that you know, is a road car made for the track. One more lap to go. The lap time was at 132. Oh, I'll be doing that more I'm sure there's better ways to extract time out of that turn one. That's not too bad. Let's go have a look at our track data. Is there a jump? Tenth position. That's the finish. Well done. <laughs> Got to plug the channel. That did look like a bit of a revenge attack. And what'd we come in the end? Top 10. Oh, yeah. Not bad. 18 I rating, if that was official. I was worried just before it registered. I thought, is this official? Nah. All right, so pressure's got up to 200 almost on the front left, which makes more sense because I think there is a few more right handers. And the other pressures aren't that far off. Temperatures, 100. 84, 84, 83, well, 93, sorry, 84. The left side of the car is is working a lot harder. Um, yeah, not, not bad at all. Let me know what you think, guys. We get a, I think we got a bit of a love tap, didn't we? Yeah, a little bit of a love tap, but I don't think it really showed. Not bad at all. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up if you liked it. Danny, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe. I might actually might have a go at this during the season to see what it's like once people are up to speed. And yeah. Either way, I'll see you on track soon. Bye.